Good morning, everybody. Still morning. 1045, Tuesday the 14th. Anyways, I want to say sorry. That last video was pretty long, but I tried to uh, show you as much as possible. Hopefully it was informative. And um, today, I'm going to show you how to reinstall the windows. And so I'm just going to take one, show you how what I'm doing. Uh, each time so um, I want to show you this one this is the bathroom window it's already cut trimmed and I've already tested the uh, fitting so I know that the window fits but I want to show you guys something and that is these high and low spots right in here now the high and low spots um, is due to the the rippling or the design in the skin and you can probably see it on the opposite side so basically uh, it's a high and low spot so what I want to do is on these low spots where I actually have a staple where I know it's meeting the wood I am going to actually put an extra piece of uh, butyl tape and I'll show you what the butyl tape is in a little while butyl tape is a putty type tape comes on paper and I'll show you how I do it so I just want to let you know this is what it looks like before and I'll show you the steps that I take to uh, put it on all right talk to you guys later all right I said I'd show you the butyl tape now if you can see it through the plastic here but it comes in a big roll uh, because it is soft it flattens out in certain spots because of the shipping and I'll take it out of the plastic again to show it to you but I wanted you guys to see the description and the size that I use now I buy this on Amazon I get it pretty cheap there and I bought six rolls each roll having I believe 30 feet so uh, not that I'll use all of it I may I may not I'm just anticipating using quite a bit and, and you do use quite a bit because you may double it up in certain spots and then it's just a single layer on, on other spots so uh, I'm anticipating uh, being able to uh, to utilize most of this so it won't go to waste and it's not that expensive and it's definitely worth the money to uh, purchase and purchase enough because that way if you need it and you need to lay an extra layer you can and you have it all right so good place to buy at Amazon okay here you see I took it out of the plastic you see a little bit better see how it's uh, wound up on this uh, little cardboard insert there and as you can see this is the color I bought the little gray I think it's a gray it looks kind of beigey but it does not really matter they do unless you unless you, you don't want to get the black because they do they come in different colors they come in a gray I want to say they come in a beige and then they come in black and they may have other colors but I've never seen them and and you want to get the color that uh, less um, and uh, it's, it, it's hiding it, it, you're able to hide it uh, some people put it on and paint over it that's that's another thing I don't I leave things pretty much the way it is and then I will uh, trim off I have a special plastic kind of rubberized tool that I'm able to trim off any excess uh, some people don't like to trim off because they say you open up gaps or water can leak in things like that I make sure that I don't so anyways just wanted to show you this Okay, this is the window that's going to go in. It's the bathroom window. Um, so what I did is I polished all the edges. So this is the edge that's going to be seen from the inside. So this is why I polished all these edges all the way around. So I had pre-polished it. All I did was touch it up today. And uh, here's the front. You can see it polished up. It's got some dents. Yeah, it's been straightened out as best I can. And uh, But you know what? This is... Uh, thing about restoring you're not putting in new you're um, trying to use utilize all the old stuff as much as possible and I can clean the window after the fact so this is the window that's going to go in the bathroom and, and you're going to see me uh, put the butyl tape on the edge the inside edge so let me set up this camera Yeah, you can see that. 
So all I do is uh, grab the butyl tape and I put it in as much as possible. We're going to squeeze out. And this is why you want to know the size. This is one inch and this fits in here perfect. And I just got to grab scissors. Some cheapo scissors. And that's it, basically. And then you just expose it by taking off the backing, if I can get it off. And I stretched it out a little. Try not to stretch it out, that's the main thing, but since I doubled it up in some spots, we're gonna be okay. There's this side. All right, so now I'm going to go and uh, put it on. And uh, oh, I better take a few screws and my screw gun. So I'm going to go get that set up and then I'll show you how I get it up there. All right, so we're here. Hopefully, you can see the window. You can hear me. And what I'm going to do is uh, be placing the window, uh, trying to get it straight, push it in so it doesn't move. The, the putty is very sticky. So it generally holds everything in place, and uh, but you don't want to take that for granted. So you want to keep one hand up, and I've got to get my screws ready and my drill ready so that I can get back up there right away and uh, and um, start putting them in so it doesn't fall out. So get the window in first. So right now I got it tacked in with four, the corners. I'm gonna bring it up so you, that you guys can see uh, what I'm, what I look for. 
to know if I got enough tape. So hold on here, I'm trying to do everything here and get out of the sun. All right, so in some spots, it doesn't sit, but right here, right there, where's my finger? There it is, right there. You can see the butyl tape kind of popping through the hole, and that's when you know you've got enough uh, tape, uh, butyl tape. Uh, and, and that's what you want to do. It's, it's starting to squeeze through, and that's what you want. You want it to start squeezing through. And uh, that's enough. Now all this excess here on the side, I'll trim that off. Like I said, I have a small tool that's plastic. That way it doesn't uh, mar the paint, but it's hard enough that it'll cut that, that putty off. And I'll just gather it up and toss it. I mean, you, you might be able to use it somewhere else, but I generally don't. Um, and uh, I just toss it. All right. And that's how you put up windows. I'll show you this window when it's complete and I get all the screws in. Quite a few screws, there's uh, I think like six on each side. So put those in, I'll show you all done. All right, talk to you later. Okay, back. Now you guys can see that the window is in. All the screws are in. What I'm gonna do is uh, trim it. Now this is the tool that I was telling you about. Now, some of you guys may recognize it. Uh, but it's just a uh, kind of spreads uh, bondo on the automotive uh, industry. They use it, and they use it to do a lot of different things anyways. But I, I was able to buy it. It's made by 3M. It's a PA1, whatever that's the part number on it, and then that's made by 3M. And what I use is I use the short end. This is a little taller, a little more flexible. I use this one. It's a little more rigid, but it's still the same rubber, and it's a rubber, and it will not scar your uh, finish on the uh, on the uh, trailer so that's what you want and so basically what I'm gonna do is trim that off that you're gonna see I'll zoom in on it so you can see a little bit better I know and uh, you'll see what I what I can do there's a couple of spots that I may be filling in with it adjust the camera Hopefully my body won't be in the way too much. So I just run it along the edge and you can see it just comes right off. And you want to do it when it is uh, fairly still soft you know after well it stays soft for a long time but it does it does harden and you don't want to leave it um, too much now again here see I tell you this has got a, a low spot here where the window didn't go down all the way so uh, but it's fully packed in there and that's what you want to make sure that you've got that putty packed in there because as you can see here all I'm doing is running it down and then I wheel it away just like so. And that kind of you have to do that for all the windows. a solvent that will clean this stuff off uh, I don't remember if it's the uh, painters painter solvent and basically see this is just the extra stuff here
what you're seeing me do is I had a, a spot that I could actually see the white and it looked like it wasn't getting in there. So what I'm doing is that I'm packing it in there. But I'm sure that it was uh, making a contact underneath there. And that's it. Basically underneath here, if you want to trim it up, there's not much here to trim. But the water's going down. You gotta remember water's going down. So the top is very important that you get uh, the tape up there. But all of them had the, the tape squeezing through the hole. So I know we've got a good contact. And now I'll do the other side. So no, now you see pretty much the end result. I'll get my uh, thinner. Uh, I believe it's a, the painter's uh, thinner to clean this off. Either that or I got goof off. Goof off also takes it off. It's another uh, solvent and that'll take all this black stuff off, which is made by this putty and the dirt on my hands. So. All right, guys. Hope you liked the video for today. Remember, if you uh, have any questions, let me know. And if you like it, give me a thumbs up down below and also share them. Uh, maybe I'll get some more um, subscribers on my YouTube channel. Talk to you guys later. Bye.